Welcome to Toy Pizza, I'm Nikki, and I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time now. And it's talking all about the Maneki Neko, Beckoning Cat, Fortune Cat, Money Cat, Lucky Cat, whatever you want to call it, I am sure you have heard of it. So the story goes way back in Japan during the Edo period, a man was walking while it was raining. And to seek shelter, he walks under a tree that's right near a temple, and he sees this cat. And the cat is doing this waving motion, kind of asking the man to come here. And so the man kind of starts walking towards the cat, and lightning strikes where the man once stood. And whether it was intending to, or maybe it was a sign from God, this cat saved his life. Because this cat saved this man's life, he was very, very grateful and later became a benefactor of that temple that was nearby, bringing it much prosperity. And then when he passed away, they made a statue of the cat in his honor. I'm certain that you have seen this cat somewhere in some capacity, whether it be glass or porcelain or vinyl or in a different color, or its left paw or its right paw was raised and the token in front had different writing on it. You've definitely seen the welcoming cat. They say that the left paw or the right paw race can mean different things, left being attracting customers and right welcoming good fortune and good wealth, white welcoming purity and happiness and positivity where gold represents good fortune and wealth and black to ward off spirits. This icon has just been in my life for so long. And at some point in my adult life, I became obsessed with the money cat. I just love the idea that this cat was so recognizable and so many versions of this cat exist, whether it be porcelain or glass or ceramic. And even in Japanese culture or Chinese culture, you would see this cat and it's like a universal symbol of good luck, good fortune, good health or wealth. And then slowly I just kind of became obsessed and more aware of the different kinds of money cats there were just having different coins and symbols or even just different colors okay so why are you talking about this asian icon nick well it's because it means a lot to me now some time in my youth i love this item i love this cat i became obsessed with this cat most notably there was this album cover by this band Trophy Scars that displayed a bunch of them in a line. Specifically, these money cats were found all over Chinatown or even Flushing. And they're nowhere to be seen nowadays, but I luckily have one or two of them still. And they came in a variety of different colors and I even used it in one of my student films. But money cats are more or less one of the first things I started collecting in my young adult life. My affinity with the fortune cat actually slingshotted me into sneaker collecting. I was just blown away when I discovered this Money Cat themed sneaker because I had no idea Nike was taking this canvas of a sneaker and taking all these inspirations from different places to make amazing colorways. Then I found out that certain skate shops got this display item of a ceramic Fortune Cat piggy bank, but the twist is he's wearing sneakers. And that's something that was gifted to me on my 21st birthday. And it wasn't long until I actually found a few toys of this figure. And how things go in the toy world, there's some sort of a parody or twist on this icon. I came across the Misfortune Cats that had a sword going through the head. And I thought, hey, this is pretty cool. And it wasn't too long until I stumbled upon Real Head and his interpretation of the Money Cat. And just that slight slight change by turning the money cat into a cyclops is just enough to keep everything I love about the money cat and have just enough of a spin to make it that more interesting. In traditional real head fashion, he will take iconic things like a fortune cat or a Daruma and just give it that cyclops treatment. But what I love about this cat in particular is that it's kind of transcended just being a money cat. He's done a sleeping version of it. He's done Billy Cat's Fortune Kid and instead of having the coin in front of the cat, it's on his back. He's even done an Ashura version of this cat. 
but obviously my favorite is the money cat. I couldn't tell you exactly what this symbol means to me. It's just something that has been in my life consistently throughout many years, whether it was visiting my uncle's restaurant or the various Asian restaurants that I've been to. And it just keeps reappearing and I just associate so much with the fortune cat. And visiting Godokuji Temple on my visit to Japan, that was just mind blowing to me, being surrounded by so many of the same statue and seeing them overgrown and just seeing so many of them in one place. It was quite moving to be there and just witness just how much this symbol could mean, especially in a temple setting. So that is by far one of my most prized possession is having one of those cats from Godokuji Temple in Japan. So again, I've been wanting to make this video or tell the story for quite some time now. I don't know what the fortune cat means to you, but it's something that I appreciate. It's something that has been in my life for many, many years, and it just means a lot to me. And I don't know what that means, but it's just something that really, really resonated with me, especially in my more impressionable years, and it led me to collecting things. It led me to collecting seekers. It led me to collecting different money cats. It's just one of those things that no matter where you go, anywhere in the world, I would bet money that you could find a fortune cat somewhere too. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Toy Pizza Vlog. Again, this is something that I've been wanting to share for quite some time now, so let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this story time format. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you'll be notified on whenever we upload another vlog, another show Fubi, or anything Toy Pizza related. And until next time, pizza out.